to one of the hottest teams in hockey right now. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. This team is coming right now. Opening face-off just moments away. The Panthers kick things off by winning the opening face-off, and here we go. And it's kicked away. Moves it quickly over to Barkov. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but looked at that hit and it just took me off guard. With possession along the wall. Quick pass to Johns. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. In close! Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Trying to shake loose. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Sends the pass over. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Now he slides it up to Johns. The Panthers gain possession in their own end. Big open ice hit! In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. for lighting the lamp with his 1T zone ability, which is his signature one-timer. Elliott's rock solid between the pipes. He can bail out his team and give them a chance to win on a nightly basis. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. Sends it over to Colby. Got to figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Here's a short pass to Bortuzzo. Sends it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Burns. Gain momentum up along the side. Break away! Oh, it just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight, and when you're in tight, you run out of room, and you run out of option as well. you got to find a way to get the puck to the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Great save by Elliott. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Jostling for the puck but still moves away. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. But he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. The Panthers move it in. Great defensive effort with the strip. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. The official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. He scores! What a little puck look on the play. Minnesota's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing. Let's see the back of the net. He scores! A pair of goals just 20 seconds apart. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Uh, the goaltender has no chance on this one as his teammate just makes a gift of a pass right into his wheelhouse and he just powders it by. 
still lots of time left here in this frame. Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Taken by Niskanen. Florida's got the puck. Sends it quickly to Kachuk. Looking for space inside the D zone. Scooped up along the wall by Edmund Larson. Reinhardt's got it in the offensive zone. He to the middle! And he denies that great opportunity there! Minnesota's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. Puck picked up by Heatley. And now he moves it quickly to Kachuk. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's the pass. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Quick pass to Pominville. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Listerinen. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Lusterine is such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. The Panthers carry it along the wall. Nowhere for that shot to go through. They score! Wait a second here, James. The official saying no goal. Now, he went off something. I believe it was the skate in front. He can bounce off of it, but there can't be an intentional kicking motion. They'll go upstairs and have a look at it. Possession of the puck. And that's intercepted by Kane. Off a stick and they can't connect. Florida's got the puck here in the open ice. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Florida's looking to break out. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it to Rutu. Stopped by the goaltender. Gains the zone along the right wall. Florida's got the puck in their own end. Great pressure, forcing the turnover. Coughs it up on the play. Here's a shot. Gives them nothing in front. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. In the final moments of this period, Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. With the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Shot just gets enough to keep it out. Looks to get the puck over to Champion. And he slides it quickly to Michael. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, what a slick stuff by Elliott. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Champion's competitive in the face-off dot, guys. We know that. He's got that quick draw zone ability, which is his proficiency for winning those matchups as the game goes on. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Oh, thunderclap and knocks him off the puck. Through center along the wing. A feed out front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Picked up along the boards by Cousins. Takes a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Moves it quickly over to Vanek. Now a quick pass to Stahl. 
Come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. this game through the first 20 minutes played. Minnesota's playing with an attack mentality, James. Every time they're in the offensive zone, they're looking to take it to the net. You put bucks on net, you're going to score goals. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's 2-1. Barkov's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off oh. circle pays off again. Here's a short pass to Barkov. is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Florida's in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push in a nice play there to get the equalizer. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff.
been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Stalls won it off the faceoff. Tosses it to Granlin. Quick feed to Vanek. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Dropped him in the open ice. Up along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the puck leaves the trying to gain a step. Oh, what a save! Broken up by Mikola. Moves it to Rodriguez. There's a violent collision. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And that's stopped. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Vanek. Grabbed along the board by Stahl. Florida's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, and he lays a thunderous pit there. Pass to Gostaspair. And now he moves it quickly to Vanek. Here's a shot. Just wide. Michaels working it around in the corner. Quick pass to Lusterainen. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Denies him, he got all of it. Michaels got it across the line. Skates to the crease. Tremendous stop by Elliott. Slides the puck over. They are swarming around like bees here in the Ozone. To the half wall to Johns. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Well, the big glove save doesn't work here, James, and it finds the back of the cage. When there's a lot of net front presence in traffic and you're trying to fight through the screen, sometimes you just got to drop into the butterfly and hope for the best. Minnesota suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of one way to go. Puck scooped up by Edwin Larson. Here's a short pass to Kachuk. Breaks up the play with the poke check. Well, that's a fantastic save. I think that was an unexpected trick shot. You know that he is full of creativity, and he gets that one off. Poked away at center by Edmund Larson. The Panthers gain control of the puck. Florida's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Kachuk. Huge steal at his own end. And he slides it quickly to Enroth. Gains the zone through center. The Panthers will play it in their own end. Directed over to Ekman Larson. Florida's got him along the wall. Knocked away. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Burns. Sends a pass over. Quick shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Broken up at center by Burns. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Florida's got possession here in the neutral zone. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Panthers have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Dumps the puck in. Oh, he'll feel that one. On the attack along the boards. Oh, what a save on the play! letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it, and then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. The Panthers really got to be feeling good about themselves after that goal here late in the second, Cheryl. Yeah, I love the way they played. I mean, they've been aggressive. They competed in all areas, and now they've got that two-goal cushion heading into the intermission. This will provide a lot of energy to close out the third. Minnesota's got the puck. 
Burns takes it through the middle of the ice. Moves it to Johns. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. And he lays him out with that collision. On that rush. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Receives the pass. Fires it. The score! Well, the shooter does a great job of recognizing how much room is available in the net, but it's all about the goaltender. He drops to that butterfly position and isn't able to get his glove hand up quick enough. The Panthers probably don't want this period to end given the way things have played out here tonight. 100% agree with you. They got the mojo. They're moving the puck. They've got a comfortable lead. The last thing they want to do is have an intermission, which can pause and give their opponent some rest that they need. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Gostaspare. Champions cross the line and gain the zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. He scores! Well, Haynes, Haynes, and more mitts on that play. Magic mitts, James, and you know, it is so difficult to bend when you pull the puck in tight to your feet, and man, this was a clinic. But after the deke, the ability to finish two, all the way around, textbook. Well, he's known for his silky mitts, James, and they're on display yet again as he recognizes where his opponent is. He's got the poison patience with the puck to open up his shooting lane, and he buries it. The Wild have to find more of that and try to keep digging and digging here. You notice that their first five strides are really urgent. That means they're pressing late in the second period here to try and get back in the game. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Minnesota's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Verhage. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Oh, he gets hit again! Well, this is a tough Big save just as time runs out. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down. And there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Here we go, we're underway in the third. Everybody having fun kicking on the offensive action. Two thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Florida's ahead right now and that's the operative word right now, James, because this has been back and forth. This is all about high flying offense. I know that you'll love this type of game. Quick pass to Johns. And that goes off a of body. Champions gonna play it against the half wall. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Gets in the lane with the body. Here's a short pass to Barkov. Rocks him. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Quick feed to Johns. Handles the pass. Great heads up play with the stick by Edmund Larson. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. Trying to make a move and the puck hops away. Quick feed to Koivu. Takes it to the net. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Puck grabbed by Montour. Quick pass across to Ekman Larson. Battle along the wall. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Passes the puck over to Kane. Look out, here they come on the attack. Niskanen's got it against the boards. Off target. He really bared down on his stick on that one. He got the velocity behind it, but it was nowhere near the net. Minnesota's got the puck. Moves it to Koivu. And that's a great hits up play by Mikolaj. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends 
a message to the bench. Picked up by Burns. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Taken by Niskanen. Stops that one. Tries to get the puck to Perry. The Panthers play it along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Vanek. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And it's a quick pass to Vanek. Gaining momentum along the boards. The Panthers gain possession along the wall. Gets it over to Lusterwaden. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Champions across the line now and on the... Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was a... Oh, he put it just long as it hits the outside of the post. Minnesota's players are frustrated. They know that you don't get the great looks all the time in the game, and they also know how close this one is. They have to find a way to stay confident, continue with the game plan as they press towards the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Cousins. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Minnesota's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. Barkov's won the draw here in the open ice. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Bortuzzo. With the puck inside the defensive zone. From the open ice, they gain the line. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. A little banging and crashing now. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Puck sent in deep, and they'll change things up on the back end. Fanix taking it from his own end. Broken up at center. Great use of the stick at center by Montour. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Play whistle, dead penalty coming up. Gremlin's going on for charging. as to who had the better night. Silverberg's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Now he takes it over the line. Shot, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Big stop by the keeper. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. What a steal in his own end. Game management is everything, and you have to be aware of exactly what that is. And you can't take risks in a game where you're leading. You have to find a way to protect the lead. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Bennett. Quick pass to Koibu. Handles the puck. ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck was dropped and we are back underway. Oh, a huge hit against the wall and you know you felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body and get the puck. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Stahl's got it along the wing. Gets in front of it. The Panthers get a hold of the puck along the boards. 
Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we, and just go with the goal calls. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. And he slides it quickly to Kachuk. Jazz the puck away. Champions got it in the defensive end. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Minnesota's back to even strength. Huge effort by the penalty-killing unit. Frustrating here. They've got a two-on-one. Oh, it's still up. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Slick feed. Barkov's into the offensive zone now on the attack. The Wild have possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. Now a quick pass to Silverberg. A little rock him, sock him on the play. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Right up the gut, here they go. Shot! Scores! He puts it in on a second effort! Well, this goal will be in the video room tomorrow, James, because it's second effort, and you know that coaches love that. Well, this is a goal scorer's goal. I mean, extreme patience to get the goaltender to bite and then to outweigh the pad and slide it in at the post. The Panthers continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Perhagi's got the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Oh, he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. St. Louis is coming up next on the schedule. A few select seats still remain for this one, so you better jump on them quick. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Elliott's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Rouge has got the puck along the wing. The Panthers take it along the wall. And Ross lugging the puck. Looks to set up at the point now. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. And the pass was right in his wheelhouse as he bears down and just lets it rip, and he hits the pipe, and it goes in. Shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Cardinals run the drop center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Panthers gain possession in their own end. Oh, he got all of that. And a save by Elliott. And he scores! As he taps it in on a second effort. Well, I just love this play, James. I mean, you take the initial shot, but you follow it up, and you still have Such a great play all the way around. True competitors know what it takes to be hard on a puck, James, and this is a perfect example of hounding, being tenacious, and then getting the puck and doing something with it. So going from a defensive point to an offensive point and producing. Fight and the resilience in them. It's a reason why they carried it in the first place. 
And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight, and we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See ya.